What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys why, in my humble opinion, you guys should really buy Marilla's action. So, welcome back to another one of my videos, guys. Today is kind of a different video because I'm going to be reviewing and showcasing you guys Marilla's action, which is a game uh, recorder program, which is similar to Fraps and DX Tori. So, this is not really a review per se because um, I'm I already, you guys already know what I feel about this program, and I certainly think it is one of the best or the best screen recording program out there. Um, and of course, I'm going to dedicate this whole video showing you, or uh, telling you guys why this is the case, and I, I really want to convince you guys to switch over to this program. The price of it is um, twenty dollars for the home version and forty dollars for the commercial version. Basically, if you're going, if you're not going to be making profit or any money with using this program, you're just going to be using it for home videos or showing your friends. Then the twenty dollar version is is for you. But if you're a YouTuber and you're making money off AdSense or you're making money from if you're a partner, you have to buy the forty dollar commercial version, which kind of sucks. I know it's it's unfortunate. At least they do give you the option for the twenty dollar uh, smaller version if you don't make money off your videos but if you think down the line you're eventually going to make money i wouldn't re really want to risk it so if you're not making money now i think you should be fine with the 20 dollars version but if you're going to be making money in the future I, I don't know if they could um delete your license or stuff like that um, i'm not sure but i wouldn't really want to risk it if you're making youtube videos so i would just go with the 40 dollars version it is a big investment but i'm going to show you guys why in my opinion if you're getting kind of serious into youtube why this is totally completely 100 percent worth it first of course the main thing you guys want to know is how good is the video quality so um the video quality of course is not as great as fraps because fraps is really known for its high um color saturation and stuff like that but for for youtube gameplay recording i think in my opinion it looks really decent it looks pretty good um youtube encodes and compresses it your the videos anyways which is any type of video youtube compresses um when it uploads to the site so honestly using any program unless you're using uh like you're recording in 480p if you're recording in 720p, the 720p recording is going to look the same all across all screen recorders. And that's just what my eye sees and what most people's eyes see. Unless you're like a video file, then maybe they might notice a slight difference in color. But again, the main, the biggest, um, if, if you guys edit your videos, which 99% of you do and you really should do, um, then the colors will also get slightly degraded then that totally depends on your video editing software not morales action of course but for the uh, main video quality i think it looks just perfectly fine the next thing i wanted to talk about is the frame rates and like the frame rate you will get um and how much it dips when you're playing and when you're recording your game so um i've used morales action i've used fraps i've used dx story i've used bandicam i've used as many as you can name out there fraps if you guys know it's famous for restricting you to playing your game at the frame rate that you're recording at which means that if you usually play your game at 100 to 120 fps or maybe like 90 fps that's what you usually play your game at without recording but once you're recording you're recording a 30 fps video fraps i think i don't know if they updated it but when i used it fraps limits you to playing the game at the, fr the frame rate that you're recording at which is 30 fps in this example and also the same with if you're recording a 60 fps video you'll have to play at 60 fps and of course, that ha Fraps has huge file sizes too, which is just not great. That's why I really don't like Fraps anymore, and I don't really recommend people to use it. The so Xtory is also a program that I used to use that I kind of like too before I switched to Marilla's Action. The Xtory didn't doesn't have that feature. It lets you play your game at whatever frame rate you usually play at without recording, and but re it but it records in the background at um 30 fps or 60 fps or whatever you frame rate you chose your video to be at i've used mirror session ever since i had my crappy old laptop and i've also used dx story on that crappy old laptop and i can say um in my experience i'm not trying to over exaggerate but Muriel's action really had did have the best frame rates on really low-end computers if you guys don't remember my lenovo n580 laptop that had an intel pentium and integrated intel graphics i could play minecraft low settings at like 12 frames per second yeah it was a really bad laptop but the frame rate didn't dip as much as um fraps or dx story did when using Merle's action which is i noticed it was amazing um it is i noticed it's really compatible with low-end pcs it doesn't really drop your frame rate much and I, as i said before action lets you record at the frame rate that you usually play at when you play your game and records at 30 or 60 in the background that's a great feature that i think 
it should be standard now. So, and also the frame, the frame dips that I told told you guys about, they're not really frame dips. Maybe um, five to max ten frames per second. Of, of course, it all depends on how well your computer runs. But as I said before, it really does run well on low-end computers too. So that's enough with the frame rates. But you must be asking, Justin, if it has good video quality and good frame rates, the file sizes must be big. And I gotta say, no, the file sizes are perfectly fine in what, what I've been using. Um, when I've been w in my setup of recording, I record in 720p30. Of course, you guys probably might record in 1080p60, and of course, the file size would just be bigger. But that's the same with Fraps and DX Tori. Um, with DX Tori, the file sizes were were decent. Fraps, the file sizes were terrible. They were humongous, absolutely huge. I could not work with them. Um, <laughs> this video is not meant to bash Fraps, but Fraps really is not as good as a screen recorder as everyone used to think it was. I'm gonna show you guys why this is good. <laughs> so. Reverse action the decent has decent file sizes when I've recorded in 720p 30. You guys can check it out for yourself. If you have a low hard drive, in it, it, it's fine. The file sizes are fine. Around I, I noticed they're around the same as the X Tori. They're and actually I was surprised at how small they are, um, based on the video quality that I gave you and the frame rate, the frame rates and the consistencies of the frame rates that it records in. So file sizes for me, it, it's a check, it's a thumbs up. But for you, they might not be as good. It totally depends. I know OBS is great. With with file sizes so it's not as great as OBS um, but for all the features that I will show you that Merle Saxton has I think the file size is totally fine the main selling point that Merle Saxton has all the amazing features it has with no compromises whatsoever um, by the way the gameplay that you saw of course it was completely recorded using action if you like the video quality of the gameplay you saw then that's what action really delivers so this is what action looks like it's a really sleek window and i think it's really it's much simpler than the x tori and obs um i know obs is a great recording program because it's a live streamer and a recorder so it can let you add text face cam desktop recorder and game recorder all in real time this is similar to obs because it does have a game recorder and a desktop recorder and you can also add a face cam in this, which is, you might think it's like, how can Merlis Action have all these features? I will show you later. OBS is free, and OBS has all the features that Merlis Action has, but a bit more. But the reason I like Action better is because OBS is just super confusing with settings and stuff like that. And mainly, it's more, it's a mainly a live streamer. So the main features that OBS has is for live streaming. This is completely for gaming. This has gaming in mind. Let me go from tab to tab. So in the video recording tab, as you can see, there are three recording modes, which is, first of all, that, that's a really big sell point anyways. It has three recording modes. I know Fraps has two, gaming, uh, the game recorder, and the desktop recorder, like the, the screen recorder, like the display. This also has that, but also has a third one, which is like um, a window. So you can record only a part of your screen and you can customize which part you want it. For me, I knew that th this program was really had so much potential when I saw of the features it had. So the gaming, this game mode is this the usual mode that usually you record your games at. You just have the frame rate in the top left or top right corner. You press the record button and it records just the game, not anything else desktop region this is all pretty simple stuff it records your whole desktop screen so this is for tutorials and stuff like that so yeah that those are the three recording modes now there are a few file formats now you probably won't have much of these you probably don't have avi mp4 and maybe you'll have intel quick sync video if you have an intel cpu for now just choose avi because avi gives you um the best quality and the easiest file to work with. Maybe they can add more file formats in the future, but really most uh, recorders record at AVI anyways. You can record at 720p, 1080p, whatever. This is the, you can choose what video frame rate you want. And as I said before, there's no um, dips in your frame rate in real time when you're playing. It records at a smooth 30 FPS or a smooth 60 FPS. Now this is a feature that is what, what I really loved about this program what i really really loved about it because it, it, it you know it's a pain when you have all your audio recordings in one track so you can't individually edit them let's say like if you're in your editor you have your video track right and then your audio track and in most soft screen recorders your audio all your mic your mic the game sounds and if you have skype recording your skype will all be in one video track one audio track which is which sucks because if, if something is too loud and you can't hear your voice, you can't mute just the game so it sounds or something. 
And with Muriel's action, you can do that. You can separate your mic from the game sound, which is amazing. It's it's a feature that is so useful and has come in handy for me literally every video that I've edited. That feature, I probably wouldn't have survived without this feature. It's called multi-channel audio recording. Check this, guys. It's so useful. But of course, only useful if you edit your videos, which of course, as I said before, you really should edit your videos. So basically, you can have your mic audio separate in one track and then another track on top of it which is just the game sounds so you can mute one and mute the other and edit each one separately which is an amazing feature microphone press always record now an amazing okay I, i'm just gonna be showing you guys more amazing feature i'm gonna i'm probably gonna say there's another ma amazing feature a lot of times during this video action can actually live stream so basically uh, action is basically obs <laughs> So yeah, action can live stream. It is it, you can set it all up here. Um, I'm not gonna do a tutorial because I don't really live stream anyways. But if you do a live stream, it's pr you're probably better off just to use Xplayer OBS anyways, because that's an actual live streamer. So, but I love how it adds the live streaming uh, potential anyways. Remote action is basically it's an app, it's an Android app which lets you use the app to press record and stop and pause without having to touch your computer, which is really useful. But I have an iOS phone. I have an iPhone, so this is not really useful for me. Audio recording. This is ju this is also another great feature. It's kind of like Audacity. You can just record your audio, your your microphone. Yeah, which is pretty cool. I don't really use that at all. I use Audacity. I love how Muriel's action combines all the programs that that I use into one amazing program. It has the live streaming of OBS. It has the desktop recording of. Camtasia, I guess, has the amazing frame rates of DX Tori and video quality of Fraps all in one. Now, there's one feature that really had me like sold 100% on this feature. I'll show you that at the end. So this is benchmarking, which is great. I know Fraps has this feature. Basically, it can benchmark your frame rates for the game that you're playing. It can give you the minimum, the maximum, and the average frame rates of the game. I just press, you can set it all up, whatever. Here are your specs, it shows you your specs here too. You can capture screenshots, which is pretty standard. And here is the general settings. There are even more tabs here. This may look a little confusing, but it's not as confusing as the Xtory, thankfully, and not as confusing as OBS too. This is just a general settings. Uh, you don't really have to worry about this. And this is the recording settings. So r really, if you do want a better quality, of course, at a cost of a higher file size, you can put it on high. Normal looks perfectly fine in my total opinion. Put the bitrate at 100%. Uh, leave the input range as it is. I'm pretty sure that's the color input range. I'm not I'm completely sure. I'm really sorry. I don't know this stuff. Um, use multi co recording. That's a good feature. It can um, make your recordings much uh, run smoother because it uses more of your cores. Um, you can choose to record your mouse cursor. Visualize mouse clicks. That's really if you just click the screen, it'll have a little circle appear around the mouse cursor. That's only really only useful for tutorial videos, so you don't really want to put that in. Now, overlay graphics, you can put a, f a file so it will be in the recording audio. Like, if you want a picture of your avatar on the bottom left, you can input your avatar there and then put it wherever you want, which is it's pretty cool, but you just you should you really should do that in your post editing, anyways. Now, this is the feature that i absolutely adore you guys know how confusing and how hard it is to edit a face cam and sync it all up and stuff like that Merle's action does all the hard work of adding a face cam syncing it making it look good for you it has a a built-in webcam feature i think this is one of the i know shadow play does this but this is i know Sha nvidia shadow play is only for nvidia graphics card users if you're on amd you have you're on you're no luck Merle's action has an in built-in webcam feature which is amazing so if you go to recording mode you can push on always record which is just always records the face cam you choose your you choose, you choose your webcam there i put it on record on button down on or off because i can just press a button if i want to turn the webcam on or off you would just want to click of a one click of the key capture resolution i recommend probably going to 800 by 600 that has good quality. It's a four by three ratio. So for video size, our, the size of 22% is really a good, you don't want a face cam to be too small. You don't want it to be too big. I think 22% is a good thing right there. Um, and you can change the position of it right there. If you go horizontal position 100%, it just moves it over to the right side. There I am guys, you can see me there. And if you put it a uh, horizontal position zero, it's on the left side. So yeah that's what it is vertical position 100 percent of course puts it all the way down 50 would be right in the middle there i just leave it at zero zero because uh, i like having it on the top left corner 
and that is an amazing feature by itself. So this is what really sold me on mirrorless action the first time I saw it, is the built-in webcam feature. I love adding face cams to my videos because it just adds um, some character to it and like some, we can add some funny moments and stuff like that. And basically it does it all automatically for you, which is an amazing feature. So this is audio settings. You can set your microphone up here. Just choose your microphone, change the volume. Actually my volume should be at 67, there we go. I have a Yeti, Blue Yeti. Choose your system sounds. I use also use the Blue Yeti as my speaker. And this is a problem that I had with Morales Action. As you can see, this this thing is called an audio balance. By default, it's about, I think it's at 70 and 20 or 70, 70 and 30, I think, by default. Put the microphone to 100 and the system sounds to zero. Um, because I noticed that if you put the microphone at anything else, it will lock the microphone volume at 81 or it will lock it at 59. But the system sounds will stay the same. It's a weird glitch that Morales Action had. If you put the microphone at 100 and the system sounds at zero, the microphone will be, it will just, it won't have a limit to the microphone volume and the system sounds, it won't disappear. Don't worry about that one. So that, that's kind of a weird thing with Morales Action. It's kind of a glitch. Just make sure you have it on 100 and zero. So bitrate, leave it at system default, that's fine. This is just the HUD, this is where you want the frame rate thing to be. You can also export the thing. So if you have a really big file size that you want it to be smaller, you can actually export it within uh, Merrill's action itself. You don't have to use Sony Vegas or whatever. Um, you can use either your graphics card or Intel. You can export, uh, yeah, it's really it's really an amazing feature. You can export it to, it's kind of like Handbrake. So basically Merrill's action is, is Fraps, the Story, OBS. Audacity, it's Handbrake, all those programs in one mini program, which is amazing. This video is getting too long, so I'm gonna just show you guys the hotkeys and kind of wrap it up. Wrap, hotkeys is pretty self-explanatory, set what buttons you want to choose. So basically guys, that is the end of my Merle's action review. This video is getting a little bit too long, but um, I really wanted to show you guys why Merle's action is, in my opinion, the best game recorder or screen capture program out there it's it can record your games you can record your, your screen it, it can add a face cam it can split the audio tracks it can live stream it can do audio recordings like audacity and it can export videos like handbrake it just so many programs that all work well together with zero compromises all in one amazing sleek simple to use program i don't know how i can recommend this enough but really i really need to show you guys and i really wanted to tell you guys why i'm real action is probably the best recorder out there. Um, I've said that so many times, just please um, please guys check it out. It is a little bit expensive if you guys are making YouTube videos and making money off of YouTube videos, but I it is totally worth it if you guys are getting serious into YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I dragged on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out guys.